the challenge for me is to manage to cut uh, that form um, in a way that is going to fit into my painting. The result is actually rewarding. I'm almost done now. Freedom! Yeah, when I see the result, I, I think to myself that it was worth it. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. One bit. So this is probably gonna go behind the bride, like that. I send the file over to them, they answer maybe like one or two days after and they say yes, we might be interested in having you for, uh, for the exhibition and, and I was shocked and surprised and happy <laughs> I'm gonna have a little wall for me uh, so since my paintings are really big, I'm gonna have a um, free painting so the first one is called Snow White um, it's a portrait of uh, Scarlett Johansson, actually. She is surrounded by dwarf and, and little thing. It's, it's a bit crazy. Uh, I like it. The second one is called uh, Nihonjin Mona Lisa. Uh, the, Nihonjin meaning well, Japanese, basically. Uh, why that? Because her expression is kind of... We don't really know if she's smiling or not, and uh, there's a lot of... Christy Griffins around her, you know, and a lot of mythology involved in it. Uh, I like it. it, it's completely different. The third one is a small piece um, called Summer's Winter. Um, Summer's Winter is more about uh, the model itself, the expression, the feeling she had. She was looking so pure and, uh, and so disinterested and uh, and so floating at the same time, and so fresh, you know, like the summer. And the fact she had that bit of calf going on for her, summer's winter, that, that's as simple as that. In uh, one way, I'm very interested in people and the way they behave, the way they express themselves, you know, the little detail that the face can give away, the emotion you can't see, actually, but, but the face you know, the, the, the way that the eye gleam when you say something, that sort of thing is very interesting. On the other hand, I'm very interested in Japanese art. Um, for instance, the wave of Okusai, that sort of thing. I know it's a very common thing, but um, I sort of try with my landscape and the flying fish, well, the red cap fish, to uh, sort of digest it and do it something that is on my own. But which respect the Japanese style. I have no idea what uh, the feedback is going to be. Um, I'm a bit scared of it, actually, to, to tell the truth. Friends and family, they always say, oh, I like it, oh, it's great. But uh, for people who don't know you, it's actually a different story. It, it's always difficult to sort of expose yourself for the, for the one time, and uh, especially on that scale. Mm -hmm.